Good morning. It's freezing. We are going exploring today, but when the temperatures are in the negatives, it takes me a little bit longer to wake up my old bones. I'm on our third week of no phone when I wake up, and it's been replaced with tea and books. And this morning's entertainment is brought to you by Audible, our sponsor. Audible is the best place to listen to whatever you're interested in, from best-selling audiobooks in every genre, to exclusive Audible originals and popular podcasts and more. This morning, I'm listening to Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman, read by Neil himself. As an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep forever, including bestsellers, new releases, and Audible originals. And you can also access a growing collection that you can download and stream as much as you want. So if you would like to try Audible for free for 30 days, you can visit audible.com slash carrycakes or text carrycakes to 500-500. Audible syncs with all of your different devices so you'll never lose your place no matter where you're listening to and I highly recommend checking them out so that information will be in the description box but now let's bundle up and head out to one of my favorite neighborhoods, Sangsu. Morning. Welcome to where are we? Sangsu. Um, I'm just gonna spend the day around here. Um, sorry, it's a little noisy. This area is all like um, construction and car repair places. Anyway, I just went to this newly, relatively newly opened um, espresso place. It's run by um, an Italian man and not kidding, that was like the best espresso I've ever had. Um, and I know, okay, guys, if you watch my Italy vlogs and you're like, oh my God, this is coming from the girl who drank Americanos all the way across Italy. I like Americanos simply because I can drink it for longer. I appreciate the taste of espresso. I just appreciate the time that Americanos grant me. But anyway, that espresso, absolutely amazing. But their paninis, whole, I was like crying. I literally was in there for about 40 minutes just eating that panini. It was so incredibly wonderful. It had ingredients that I haven't seen in so long um, that aren't really common in Korea. It was just, it was expensive, but please go like that. Panini was a work of art. It was worth it. So 
anyway now we're gonna go shopping a little bit um, just to look around there are some new shops um, some shops that I like have gotten new things and it's not as cold as I thought I was sitting in the Sun so I'm like really toasty and full of good food so okay let's go I admit I was drinking before we met Caffeine would have been heaven sent up Standing outside, didn't mind the rain Will you come down for me again, oh man When you let me in, I was warm enough Pour myself another cup I've been fine the past few months When truth is I've been in the dumps, my friend Consciousness starts to float above my head. This is just the weirdest neighborhood. I love Sungsu so much. So now I'm just kind of walking around um, and heading to another store that used to be just one floor and they bought the whole building and they've expanded and I love everything that they find. I'm trying not to buy anything today, um, but yeah, we're heading to Point of View, but we might make some stops on the way. See ya. Not sure what I'm holding on to. I'm holding on just fine. One deep breath and then I'm off you. Not my but I'm alright Taking in what's known surroundings Somehow they all feel new Feet are sore and heart is pounding Nothing like being with you Kurt if he wanted something and he didn't reply until I had definitely left the store so we're going back <laughs> desperately in search of a savior I bit the hand of my feeder Falling deeper and deeper Okay, it suddenly got so cold. I was fine without even a scarf, but the espresso warmth and morning sunshine and panini are no match. <laughs> so it's also lunchtime now, so I'm kind of like dodging people. It's a beautiful day. I only bought one thing, 
um, and that will be like a fun thing for Kurt and I. So it's a shared experience. It's not like a like a trinket. That's my issue is I always buy trinkets and I have just too many. So anyway, now we're gonna find a place to not get frostbite on my fingers. <laughs> All right, <laughs> 1975 interlude, back to business. really warm um everyone ever highly recommend sweater tights so good they keep you so warm um so it was really it was my my head i needed proper headwear um we're home and i'm gonna look at my spotify 2022 wrapped i know it's gonna be embarrassing because i know that i have one song that was on repeat for a long time and then I listened to my on repeat playlist all the time which just makes it worse okay here we go get your playlist oh it's different it's different than I thought okay so I listened to well here I'll just show you oh my god was I not recording that at all what the heck um here it is as I I had said when I wasn't recording ignore my messy screen and uh here are my top songs. Uh, pretty accurately describes me. I thought this was gonna be ranked number one because I just kept playing it over and over and over again, but I've noticed a lot of people saying that their numbers seem to be off. Whatever, it's just funny. There you go. Yeah, I guess this one, it's just the chorus is funny. Anyway, but I want to see the one that's on my phone. Let's see. It didn't prompt me. Oh, okay. Okay, whatever <laughs> Look at you little astronaut 22 different genres What the hell is alt Z? In the morning, I'm energetic. How you cheerful? What is that? <laughs> Hopeless romantic bittersweet yearning Empowered, spooky, affectionate. <laughs> yeah, I did listen to this a lot. Oh. oh no, did Taylor Swift become my number one? Damn, in the top 5%. Tote bag, chic baristas. Wow, I hate myself. Taylor Swift, 1975, Pale Waves, Bamba Doobie, Water Parks. Even though I literally only know two songs from water parks. I had layers like an onion this year. 
What's my personality? The devotee. When I love an artist, I really love them. Yeah, I do listen to things on repeat. Oh no, why the yeah? I'll share it because I'm obnoxious. Okay, um, anyway, so I have a little bit of work to do and I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna catch you guys in a little bit. And um, we're spending the whole day together because Kurt has like a late meeting. So we're gonna get dinner, we're gonna make dinner maybe, and um, I can introduce you to my television, which is very exciting, we just got one. So, okay, I'm gonna make tea, try to open up my sinuses. I took a, ooh, I took a bath last night and I used, I have Epsom salt and I always forget to use it. And I took an Epsom salt bath and I just feel so good, um, but I, it didn't help open me up, so I need some Vicks or something. But anyway, um, catch you guys in a second. I'm gonna warm up and, um, okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Welcome. I have been on the computer too much. I've been, well, no, I've been looking at screens too much because I've been reading an obscene amount um, on my iPad to the point, oh, oh, okay, hold on to the point where I made an effort to read a physical book and I, ow, did you hear that? That was my knee. I mentioned this briefly in my last video, but I wanna give it another shout out because I can't stop thinking about it. And I followed the author on Instagram and she's so funny. She is like hardcore army and she just like memes like no other. Um, but her book is Freaking beautiful but heartbreaking and like I don't even know how to talk about it. Well, here here we go. So the book is called As Long As the Lemon Trees Grow and it is about the revolution in Syria and it follows an 18 year old who, and the, the, the reason it's hard to talk about is that this reads like, almost like nonfiction. I mean, it is about something that is current, that is happening right now and all of the things that happened to this character and her family are real but it seems like such a fucking fantasy like it's so it's obscene the things that happen and like it's so different from reading it in a news article um the way that she expresses it is just incredible and so it follows um a young girl who was studying to be a pharmacist, but during the revolution, the dictatorship in Syria was targeting, is targeting doctors because that's a really good way to hurt more people is to make sure they don't have access to doctors to make them better. So all of a sudden, all of these people who have like basic medical knowledge are being placed in positions like head of surgery and stuff like that because they're technically the most knowledgeable and stuff like that. So she's 18, she's not supposed to be doing this stuff and she is seeing, she works in the ER, like she's seeing the most horrific things and like mostly happening to children. And it talks about that, it talks about like the decision between like wanting to stay in Syria and fight for Syria, but also wanting to live and like that whole decision of like trying to leave, but you might die leaving. Like it's just, it's so good and like taught me so much. Yeah, I just want to recommend it if you guys are looking for um, a book and if you want to support an army, literally her blurb in the back says that her dream is to get Namjoon to read one of her books. If that happens, she will expire on the spot. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was just, um, really excellent so that's kind of what I did the past two days really 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 warning in terms of just like the amount of horrifying things that happen in this I had a nightmare which like books don't give me nightmares and I literally had a nightmare um, about the contents of this book so really be careful but um, absolutely a fantastic piece of work um how did i get on oh my god how did i get on that subject anyway physical book because i've been reading too much and i can't look at screens so i'm in a daze right now but talking about that book just cured me <laughs> okay um so i want to make soup because it's cold and wonderful um so i need to dig through my pantry and figure out what i have do i have veggie broth what did i need to look for is that what I needed to look for? Ah, and lentils. I know I have lentils. Oh no. 
I don't have my tall husband. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Ah, got plenty. Broth. Ah. And I don't have, I have spinach. Okay. All right. So I have nothing. <laughs> I know that my Home Plus doesn't have veggie broth. So let me, um, Go see if maybe B Mart does and they might be able to deliver it. Cross your fingers. It's so sad when it's so beautiful outside, but it's too cold. <sighs> Real exciting stuff carrots, onion, garlic, and buns. <laughs> I'm just gonna use Kurt's chicken stock. I'm gonna try and use just a little bit of it. If you don't know, I'm technically a pescatarian so i eat seafood but i don't eat meat um but when it comes to broth especially here because so many things are made with meat-based broths um i just eat it i just don't want to bite into like a solid hunk of meat you know so let's get cooking i'm mashing together two ish recipes but hopefully this tastes good because it's my dinner so let's go we've got Olive oil, onion, carrots, garlic go in. I added like cumin and salt and pepper and now we're going to attempt to add the broth and the water. I don't really know what I'm doing. These are my rinsed lentils. <laughs> when in doubt, add paprika because Kenny loves yolk. Hey, let me get comfy. Hello, so I have to wait for my lentils to cook, got some time, and I promised you guys, I have questions from a Q&A that I never did from many, many, well, a long time ago. So I thought I'd answer just a couple because I feel like a lot of them were similar. And one that I found funny <laughs> was, um, does being in your 30s feel the same as when you were in your 20s? And yes and no um i was just talking to my friend sydney about this how we feel like we've we've aged but like we also feel like what are you talking about we just graduated college or like we're, we just graduated high school what do you mean so yes and no but mostly i feel like i i hope that this continues for every decade of my life but like i just know myself so much better than i did in my 20s and i feel like if i watched this as a 40 year old i would be like look at me like 30 years old and i think i'm so wise <laughs> i often talk actually uh, in two days um on saturday i'm gonna go meet with some kids who are studying abroad here right now and i always think about like what advice can I possibly give them? And it's so frustrating because I know that the things that I've, the like most important things that I've learned about myself and just living, being a human, um, are things that you literally can't fully understand until you age up, until you grow, until you go through things. That's the frustrating thing. Even though I, I have learned things, most of the like really core parts of that knowledge, I can't technically, I can't really impart on other people. Like you just have to kind of go through it. And you know, when older people are like, well, you know, you'll understand when you get older. For most of the things that old people say, it's not true, but there are certain things that it's like, yeah, you genuinely like can only learn by just getting older. So yeah, definitely my 30s are different. I'm turning 31 in 30 days. <gasps> Whoa, but yeah, this is my last, I guess my last month of 30. How exciting, good, I'm liking it so far. Which kind of leads into how is life since quitting your job, money-wise, time-wise, social aspects, happiness, etc. So I left my job at the very end of 2019. Can you hear it boiling? Is it boiling too much? Hold on. So if you're new here, I work for a startup here summer of 2014 until autumn of 2019. So it's been three years since I quit my full-time job and it's been a mixed bag. I think it's I am so, so, so thankful that I'm my own boss and I'm able to do something that I love doing and like was a hobby anyway. I'm not sure if I would say I have so much freedom, but I definitely have so much more control over what I do. I'm very, very thankful that this is a thing that I can do. However, as you guys have probably picked up on um, in kind of, especially my recent videos, I feel like I go 
through phases where even though I'm satisfied by what I'm doing, I feel like I'm not doing enough. Like I'm, I come from a family of a lot of nurses and paramedics and firefighters and I feel like <laughs> I'm just not contributing as a human being, you know? And that's something that I've talked, I've had a lot of conversations with my friends about recently and I, I feel a lot better about it, but it's still a thing that I, I um, struggle with. So it's kind of this blessing and a curse. I'm like so thankful that I have this thing that I love, but I'm also, I feel a lot of guilt towards that privilege. So it's one of those, what was the other one? Money-wise, um, I was lucky in that I, two things happened at once. First of all, I had been working full time for five years. I lived in a basement. <laughs> um, so I really, I was paying like minimal rent. I was just saving. And so um, I felt comfortable making that decision. And I also did that after I had been, I had been doing YouTube for I think three years. I knew what I could expect in terms of budgeting. Like I didn't just jump into it, but also I'm fortunate to be married and I'm in a dual salary, what's it called? <laughs> household. That's like such a privilege to be married and have something like that. Yeah, overall it's been it's been really good. It's it's more of like a mental battle than anything else. But yeah, I'm very, very happy. And I think for 2023, I have a lot of travel plans. Having these trips on the horizon and thinking about how I'm gonna film them, I'm so excited. Yay, overall, life is good. Life is good. Yeah, anyway, um, my soup is about to be done. Those were the main questions um, people also were asking me. If I could only read one genre for the rest of my life, what would I read? Fantasy, duh. So yeah, okay, I'm going to check on my soup, but thanks for sending in your questions and sorry it took me months and months and months to get back to you, okay? Um, soup. Hi, soup is done. So Kurt and I, neither of us have had a TV in our homes since high school. Here's my TV. Wow. How exciting. Anyway, here's what we got going on. Honestly, could have done without the uh, green beans, but it was in the mixture. I'm very happy. So I'll see you guys for dessert. Turns out dessert is gonna be, I'm going to a music thing with my friend. So we're gonna go from soup grandma to something else. I need to change and kick this food coma. I had seconds. I am so full and so ready to fall asleep. See you there. <laughs> I'm going to leave you guys on that note. That was actually today. I knew today was gonna to be nice, but it turned out to be even better. I got to see Gisela and then um, the event we went to was hosted by Seoul Community Radio. And Karen is always at those events. So I got to surprise Karen, which like never happens. I knew she'd be there. Um, so it was just, it ended up being like much more exciting than I thought it would be. Yeah, I'm gonna to end today here. This was just a day that happened to have a hell of a lot of sungsu in it. Um, and my throat is very sore from yelling, but it was a fun time. We only saw two acts, but I'll link them down below. Um, we saw the producer of all of New Jeans stuff, I guess. Um, so it was quite cool. The crowd was very interesting, <clears throat> like mostly foreigners, but a, a, an interesting crowd for sure. So anyway, um, once again, thank you to Audible for sponsoring this. There will be information in the description box, but you can go to audible.com slash carrycakes or text carrycakes to 500, 500 to try out Audible for free for 30 days. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next week. Um, I'm gonna try and pop around all of the Christmas stuff, but as we saw in Sungsu, there were so many Christmas decorations up and like that's, that's not the usual. So I feel like I've already showed you so much Christmas. But um, yeah, we'll, we're gonna try the whole week. We're gonna try and do it. So I'll see you there. Thank you as always.
Lots of love to you. Bye.